Hello! Tonight we are going to talk about phishing emails. So what is a phishing email and three ways you can detect one. A phishing email is when a scammer uses a fraudulent email to get your personal information like so social security numbers, um, credit card numbers, any personal information like that. And then they can use that information to either steal your money or steal your identity. And a while back, we talked about spam filters um, and how to use your spam filter. They're, they do a really good job of filtering out the junk, but sometimes these phishing emails sneak through because they really do look legit. I mean, they can look like an email that you would actually get. like. One time I got one that looked like it was from FedEx and it it was a shipping notification and it looked legit, but when I looked closer at it, it wasn't, um, it wasn't a real email, I didn't think so. Um, and I never know because the amount of shopping I do online, I never know when a package is showing up at our house. So um, it could be something that you would, wouldn't think twice about. Um, so we have a few ways that kind of give them away right off the bat if you look close enough. So the first thing I look at is the sender email. Sometimes it all looks legit, but the email that the message is coming from isn't even an actual email address or um, sometimes I've seen where the domain, where it's whatever email at whatever.com, the domain is like um, scam.com or something or hacker or something like that is obviously it's not legitimate. Um, so first of all, I look at the sender email. That's usually a giveaway right away. And then the second thing to look for is the logos. If it's coming from or claiming to be coming from a large company, they almost always these days use their actual logo. And sometimes in these phishing emails, it looks like a logo, but it's actually just the color, same colors or even plain text and it's not actually an image. So make sure you're looking really close at the company logos. And then the third way to detect a phishing email is by reading the email really closely because sometimes they even have spelling and grammar mistakes. So um, the words might be jumbled or letters jumbled, um, but if you didn't look at it really close, if you read the headline and read the link that it's giving you a big bold link, um, if you read the message a little closer, they usually have mistakes in there. Um, and then there's always the most obvious too good to be true email where it says you've won something or click here to claim your prize. Um, if it looks like it's too good to be true, it probably is. <laughs> so when you are trying to decide if an email that you got is a real one or a phishing email, the main thing to remember is to just not open it if it looks fishy, <laughs> no pun, in pun intended. Um, if it looks fishy, it probably is. So don't click on any links or if you can help it, don't even open the email. Um, if it's something important and, and you don't respond to it, the sender will contact you a different way or they'll just send another email if they don't hear back from you. So. Always err on the side of caution if you're um, concerned about an email being legitimate or not.